the phenomenon of stuff dripping out of a UAP, or even a drone these days, is absolutely fascinating. Here's a report of a classic case of dripping UAP that somebody saw in southern England. This is getting insane. Somebody just recovered molten metal that was dropped from a drone that was hovering behind their house in Wickham, England. The user posted these pictures on Reddit with this following statement. About 20 seconds after initially spotting it, I noticed that it appeared to be dripping a molten-like metal onto the ground. After doing this multiple times, it started moving left in the sky. And after this, it vanished from sight due to moving behind the large oak trees on my property that are around 40 feet in height. My question is, what did I see? Is it common for UFOs to drip metal, or could this have been something different? Is it worth sending these metal things off somewhere to get them tested? And if so, where would I send them? A university? That phenomenon is real, and I really like it. It's not a drone, it's not Ryanair, it's something highly strange, and we need to understand the nature of the physics that makes things drip. There's been reports of stuff like hair falling out of UAP. In a number of cases, you could clearly see where something had melted on the ground, often of a metallic nature. What's going on? Well, it's really interesting. So let's talk about my favourite subject, plasma. Plasma is the fourth state of matter. It's where you have ionised some element, usually a gas, disassociated it into its protons and electrons. And you do that by pumping energy into matter. The most common plasmas that we see here on Earth are ionized air, our atmosphere, and it often manifests itself as a sphere. That's mainly because we live in a pressurized atmosphere, and ionized gas tends to expand under pressure and is contained because of gravity and pressure. The most commonly seen spherical plasma is lightning balls. They're most likely formed in an electrical storm where a section of our atmosphere becomes plasma or ionized and for some reason it self-sustains. Now you would imagine that a ball might appear and then dissipate almost instantly but plasma balls, lightning balls, sustain. People have seen them slowly floating around going through solid structure and appearing to survive for multiple seconds. How and why an atmospheric ball lightning plasma sphere can sustain for so long is a mystery. It could be due to its shape and of course the amount of energy inside it. And the energy is the clue to understanding the dripping effect. So when lightning or a directed energy weapon zaps our atmosphere and makes ionized gas, it forms into a sphere, just like anything in our atmosphere. The very center of a plasma sphere is dark. It's only luminous on its edges. But why is it luminous? That's the clue to the dripping. It appears that the outer radius, the edge of a plasma event, a ball in our atmosphere, Sphere, is where the ionized gas, electrons and the protons recombine into stable matter. The third state of matter, gas. I mean, it doesn't glow, it's much more stable than a plasma. What apparently is going on? When you ionize something, you put vast amount of energy in it and it actually strips the electrons and the protons apart. They become disassociated or ionized. And to recombine, which they want to do, those electrons have to throw away energy and they throw away energy in the form of photons. That's why the edge of a plasma glows. The center is dark. But scientific research thinks that in the process of recombining, throwing away photons, glowing, that recombination process on the edge not only produces photons of light, it also can produce strange matter. Actual elements are produced. The philosopher's stone, an alchemist trick, is going on. And maybe what's happening, you've got something called electron bunching. It's throwing away energy like crazy to recombine into a more stable form. And out of the 
bottom of this UAP, this plasma ball in the sky, appears stuff dripping, sometimes in solid form. It's really fascinating. That's my best humble description of the research that I've done for you. But it goes much further. What exactly are these plasmoids? They're certainly highly strange. They're not quadcopters. They're not Ryanair. They are luminous bodies of energy, and people are seeing them. The most commonly seen UAP, unknown anomalous phenomenon, are plasma shapes. And some of them can occur naturally, produced by our Earth. We've heard of earthquake lights, where large seismic activity can actually ionize the gas above an earthquake and produce luminous pillars or balls of light. That's well recorded all over the world. But according to Paul Devereux, who actually prefers to call this effect Earth lights. It doesn't necessarily need seismic activity. It could be other forms of energy or pressure. Yes, UAP are real. They've been seen for hundreds of years all over our planet, and some of them drip molten weird stuff. Now, are they aliens? I don't think necessarily they might be a manifestation of a craft that's doing some kind of interdimensionality movement. I think that's one theory. They also could be a force of nature. I think the big problem with dripping UAP plasma is it's very rare. Often people who see it you know, see it by themselves, and all you get is a witness report. Very few photographs exist. And there's things that can be mistaken for dripping UAP plasma balls, such as military flares, will definitely shed stuff underneath from the burning metal, the magnesium, or whatever they use. But I think they're also highly strange. I think because they're rare, people don't fully understand them. Certainly if you see something dripping in the sky, you've seen a UAP. Please go to where you saw it, like this woman in England, and search for samples. I imagine the amount of material that solidifies from a dripping UAP will be tiny. I worry what this woman found to me looks a bit like melted aluminum cans. But the physics is right. Plasma UAP do drip when they recombine, when they shed energy. That's why they glow, and that's why they produce exotic material. It's absolutely fascinating researching these films for you. I really enjoy it. In 2025, we've got some cracking subjects coming up. Later this week, a film that I'm really, really proud to share. Ashton Forbes and I have been working on What is the Physics of MH370 Directed Energy Weapons? Is there anything out there that can make things disappear? And we've spoken to a military engineer who describes a possible process to make it real. See you on Friday. The truth is out there.